Hello Internet Hype Boson here. Okay, this week it is 3D printing again. I know you'll like that. Um, I'm going to be going through the how I was dialing in, going to try and dial in anyway on all the different filaments, the head temperature. Now I quickly talked about this last week about printing a thing as it went up and temperature changes. So I've actually done that now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of that and give you an idea of what I did to get where I'm going. It all starts off in one of the 3D packages, creating, I created a 25 by 25 mil by 100 mil tall cube, basically, or rectangle, whichever you want to call it, cuboid. And then you take that into your slicer software. And then what you try to do is you change some of the settings, like the parameter to be only like one pass round, no infill, no top, no bottom, although in my case I did add a raft for the first two layers just to help bed adhesion because we all know I have issues with that. And um, off I win it. I had a few, a few false starts with my printer being as wonderful as it is to me sometimes, but I got there in the end and I managed to. Uh, there, you can have a little look here as the show having a little bit of a time lapse going on showing you as it was printing. So, as you can see, as that print's going along and things are moving up, basically, at every centimeter it moved up on doing that box. Uh, the temperature changed so the temperature started off at 210 and then after a centimeter that dropped off to like then a 206 that carried on next level it went down to 202 and so on and so forth until it got to the end so what this managed to do was I could have a little look then and see the quality of the print as it was going up on the finished product to try and identify what temperature area it seems to be giving me the best results so if we jump over now to this bit here as you can see here it is here and what i did on this was it's there you go like i said it's an empty box now beware it's quite fragile i had to be very careful when i was trying to move it off the bottom it nearly stripped a lot of the bottom away but what i did was once that comes off this was the bottom here like i said i had a small little raft that came off and then all i did was went along and marked off every centimeter 10 millimeters and so forth and then I wrote the appropriate temperature on the cube here as it went up just so I could have a very good indication of exactly where and when things were happening at the end of all of this I look through and if we look along this side here there's a bit here which looks really kind of nice it's looking very good along that bit there and that one there was around about the 182 to the 178 so that was 178 that was 182 so i know somewhere in that area is at this speed anyway i'll come back to that in a minute at this speed the sweet spot so i could then redo this and readjust the code so it started say at 184 and finished at say 174 again and then each centimeter here would be like one degree so then i could really start to spot exactly where the, the sweet spot is on this filament on that printer at that speed etc so as i was saying depending on the speeds because you have to really as you can see if we go back to here this isn't perfect this has got imperfections uh, it's not brilliant I still have to figure out print speed and things like that as well but this was more of a proof of concept rather than really trying to actually nail down the temperature at this exact moment this was a proof of concept for me as will this technique work and having a look at this it does work it does show me I can see a difference but if I was to change the print speed, the feed rate, anything like that, that's obviously going to change this here because if it's feeding faster, then you know the temperature might have to go up or down or things like that. Anyway, you're gonna have to play around. So I'm still gonna have to first calibrate the extrusion rate and things along those lines. But I know once I get those bits nailed down, then this technique for this will work will work brilliantly so once i get past that 
this is going to do good and this just gives you a little idea of how i done this so once i uh took this and put it through the slicer software i used um repetier host as that has a great function out there where it can show you the g code and tell you what layer it is on so i looked at that i it came up with 330 i'm going to be reading off my notepad i'll just show you my notepad it'd probably be easier it was 335 layers now i knew i had two layers of raft so i minus the two left me with 333 layers that, that was doing there so as i wanted to break it up into 10 segments i did that so it's 33.3 so let's just round it down there to the nearest which was 33 so with the first two layers and then the 33 the layer 35 is when basically it was going to move into the next uh, centimeter so that's when i then had it drop from the start of 210 down to 206 so i found where the 35th layer started just before the line before that i went in i put the g code entry in for changing the temperature and told it to change it down to 206. I then bumped forward, added 33 under there, which is 68, as long as I can do mental arithmetic. And then I changed that to 202, because that was four off. So what I decided to do was go down four degrees at a time for every centimeter. Then at 101, I took it down 198 degrees. At layer 134, I took it down 194, layer 166, 190, 200, 186, etc. etc. Now, I know some of you would be like, I don't want to have to try and go into the code and figure all that out. Uh, there are some people that have showed, has had some other videos. Uh, if people really, really want it, I will record a later date, me actually going through the code and changing it. But for those of you that can't really be bothered with that, what I'll do is the code I actually, the G code I used to print this, I will put a link for down in the description. So you can just download the one I've got there. Now the one I've, you're gonna download will be set for this range, the speed that I had things set up, the bed size I had, all of that. So it's, it's only gonna really be usable in certain cases, but it'll give you an idea. You can have a little look through the code. And one thing I've done, I've commented into the code um, the places where it needs to be changed on this one. So if you go into it uh, and then type in T hash zero one, there'll be two places where it tells you to put the 210 degrees in because you've got it right at the very beginning and just before it's just after the first layer or whatever then the temperature can change because often people obviously have a different layer temperature for the first layers and then change the temperature after that so T hash zero one will take you to those two temperatures there then if you on here this one here if we jump back down here this one here for example because that's just the um, where the second temperature happens if you go through the code and search for t hash zero two i'm trying to write upside down here so bear with me that will take you to where in the code i have that one and so forth t hash zero three this one here t hash zero um is that no, that's backwards that's backwards because i'm trying to write upside down which isn't easy but anyway so you get the idea so you can go all the way down to t hash one zero uh so if you're just searching the uh, g code with something like, i don't know if you're using if your g code editor you have has a search tool if not something like notepad plus plus you can search for it on there and go through and just change the temperatures to the ones that you desire for what you need there's lots of other things in that g code you might have to tweak depending on your system and if you're the person that kind of knows that already you're probably one that will just go through and tweak your original your own code generated with your own settings for your own printer your own speeds etc so sounds all a little complex if i can find up the links to the, some of the other videos that i have watched i will pop them down in the description below just in case those guys help you out uh or say it in a way you understand better than i've probably put it across because 
The way I put it across might be good for some, might not be good for others. But I hope you like that and hope it was helpful. Um, next week will be the vlog from when I was uh, helping Philip Green do his uh, Halloween special video, which should be out tomorrow i'm not mistaken uh once i have a uh link for that i'll shove that in the description below as well and um i will basically be seeing you next week in that vlog it won't be a video here as per normal it'll be purely the vlog uh be aware if you are somebody that is uh doesn't like adult humor and uh possible swear words etc um yeah, you might want to skip next week's, but if you don't, if you don't mind a little bit of grown upness, then tune in next week. Watch that vlog; it's quite funny. You get to see me kind of out and about and being a little bit more relaxed and etc. than I am at the moment. Anyway, I hope that was good. Like I've said before, uh, catch me up on Twitter etc. And I will see you again next week. Bye. <laughs>